Hey guys and girls. Today we're reviewing Thermaltake's LifeCool Notebook Cooler. This is my first laptop cooler, so I'll be like a lot of the rest of you, really wondering and looking for the reasons why I should buy and use it. The LifeCool supports laptops from 10 to 17 inches, and from first impressions it looks pretty good and seems to be well made. It comes with all the accessories, which in this case is only its manual and USB cable, and it's pretty lightweight. From memory the box said just over a kilogram, and it's made from plastic and metal mesh. Now, you're probably thinking the same thing as I am, how do I make it work? Well, without reading the manual like most of you won't, my common sense led me to the conclusion that if I use the included USB cable and connect the cooler to my laptop, it must work. So with connecting them up, I found the little wheel on the side of the cooler that you can use to turn it on and adjust the speed of the fan, which also controls the brightness of the light. Pretty nifty. Now there's a little bit of noise from the fan, but once the laptop is on top, it drowns out most of that noise. Time to check if it'll actually cool down my laptop. I use the new Mass Effect 3 game to stress the laptop a bit and get its temperatures up. As you can see, before I started playing, it was sitting at about 50 degrees. And after playing for about 10 or 15 minutes without the cooler, the laptop reaches a maximum of 83 degrees, although this is sitting in a poorly ventilated room with the laptop on a sheet. After closing the game and letting the laptop cool back down, I did the same thing using the cooler this time. With a maximum of 77 degrees, it looks as though the cooler is doing its job properly, and unless you're trying to boil water with your laptop, the average of 7.5 degrees is a fairly decent drop in temperature. This will save your laptop a bit of stress and only being $35 to buy, you'll most likely get your money's worth when your laptop lasts that extra few months. So in conclusion, the pros are, it's lightweight, it's stylish, it's easy to use, cheap and it cools your laptop. The only cons I could find are that the support on the bottom seems a little weak but unless you're trying to park your car on top of it, it'll hold up. If you're looking for a laptop cooler that won't break your bank and it'll work, I recommend this one. Happy cooling!